Hello, and thank you for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'm your host, Daniel Kay, live from the Thousand Oaks Mall parking lot. Not live, but the other part's true. Uh, this is the report for the weekend of November 8th through 10th, 2019. There are four new movies in the top 10 this week, and uh, they were all disappointing. So let's start with the number one disappointing feature, which is, of course, Midway from Universal. Uh, Universal apparently owns the rights to the Battle of Midway because this is a, another version of a movie that they made in the 70s. I remember. Uh, it only, well, strictly speaking, it's from Lionsgate, but Lionsgate is Universal. Don't kid yourself. Um, anyway, it made uh, 17 million, 17.8 million dollars, uh, which is fine. Coming in at number two, and this is real disappointing, uh, Doctor Sleep. They were expecting 20 to 25 million out of this one, and it only came in at 14 million. Uh, it's a sequel to The Shining, and sequels to uh, Stanley Kubrick pictures are fool's errands uh, of an epic size. Coming in at number three, Playing With Fire, which could have been, of course, a good title for the documentary of making uh, Doctor Sleep. Um, it's from Paramount Pictures. It made 12.72. Uh, I think it stars Mark Ruffalo as a crusading lawyer, and it's a true story, and somebody's dropped the ball on getting an Oscar for everybody involved because it's coming out too early for that. Coming into number four, Last Christmas from Universal Pictures. This is Universal. Don't kid yourselves. And uh, Last Christmas made $11.4 million, and that's not such a big deal. And I think there's some uh, Game of Thrones person in there. All right, coming into the very bottom of the chart, and by the bottom of the chart, this may not mean, I mean number 83. It's been out for 12 weeks, and it's called The Death and Life of John F. Donovan. And it's notable because in addition to being the very lowest grossing movie in America this week, it also only made $11 on two screens. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, I don't even know if that's possible. That means basically five fifty per ticket, um, and you know, all weekend long. I don't even know a theater that charges five fifty anymore. How is this possible? How could it be? I don't know, and I'm not going to speculate any further. Uh, and then coming into number eighty-two, just above that, and it's no, that doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm looking at this wrong. Um, see, it's harder to find which are the new ones in the chart this week, but it looks like it must be coming in at number one, I mean, coming in at number 72 in his first week, A Fish in the Bathtub. It's a re-release. Um, it made, it's from Cohen Media Group, it made $1,237. All right, I'm too excited now. I need to, like, cool down. Thank you very much for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'll be back again next week, perhaps with some lighting that's a little less sinister. Perhaps not. I don't really know yet. Bye for now.